On this week in gaming, for the week of May 20th, we've got 29 brand new games to talk about, including the Resident Evil series making its long-awaited debut for the Nintendo Switch. Team Sonic Racing races its way to becoming the best racing game of all time, and we break out of jail and run from the law in American Fugitive. All of this and much, much more on a brand new episode of This Week in Gaming. What's up everybody, my name is Brian Chappelle and welcome to This Week in Gaming. We have a total of 29 brand new games to talk about, including 12 brand new games for the PlayStation 4, 7 new games for the Xbox One, and 15, woo, 15 brand new games for the Nintendo Switch. And of course, like most weeks, Monday has nothing. So let's talk about Tuesday, May 21st, when one of the longest running video game franchises finally arrives on the Nintendo Switch. This Tuesday will mark the arrival of Resident Evil on the Nintendo Switch, including Resident Evil Zero, where you go back to where it all began with Officer Rebecca Chambers and criminal Billy Cohen. Gamers can now explore the mansion that <laughs> still haunts my nightmares with Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine in Resident Evil and rescue the United States president's daughter. You heard that correctly. Rescue the president's daughter while fighting off the creepiest European zombies that I have ever seen in Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil, and Resident Evil 4 are coming to the Nintendo Switch this Tuesday, May 21st. Now, if you're tired of killing zombies, which I don't know how that's humanly possible. Well, Tuesday also has plenty of games to look forward to, including a brand new free-to-play game called Dauntless. Following an event that tore the world apart and released massive monstrous creatures called behemoths, gamers must play as slayers, whose main job is to hunt down and slay monsters. Gamers will also collect loot to build new weapons and armor. Dauntless will be launching for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One for free this Tuesday. Nothing like free 99. And Speaking of PlayStation, this Tuesday, PlayStation owners can also look forward to playing American Fugitive, Killing Floor, Double Feature, Slay the Spire, Skelly Celeste, along with two brand new PSVR games, Observation, and Everybody Golfs VR. Oh man, I cannot wait to just get out there and play some good old VR golf. But if you were looking for something a little more fast paced, because golf's pretty slow, uh, nothing is more fast-paced than this next game. Team Sonic Racing is a fast-paced competitive racing game that answers the age-old question. Why does the fastest video game character of all time need a race car to go fast? Team Sonic Racing features 12-player racing, 4-player split-screen, exhibition mode, time trials, and team adventure mode. Team Sonic Racing is launching this Tuesday for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. But also releasing this Tuesday is a roguelite shooter, Fission Superstar X for the Xbox One, along with 8 Lear Lua, the Scion of Arland. <laughs> wow, butchered that one. Uh, that will be launching for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. But hey, why not take a trip back to the Revolutionary War with Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, which will be launching for the Nintendo Switch this Tuesday. All right, that wraps up Tuesday for us, which brings us to May 22nd which gamers can look forward to playing Marion Tavern Story, Patty and the Hunger God for the Xbox One. You gotta trim that name down. Uh, the Last Door Complete Edition for the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One. And if you've ever dreamed of being a train conductor, well, the train simulation A-Train Express will be coming to the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation VR this Wednesday. Man, a VR game where I get to be a train conductor. Keep this hype train going and move on to Thursdays. Now, Thursdays are traditionally dominated by Nintendo Switch games. And this Thursday, Doug Bowser is bringing, wow, six games to the Nintendo Switch. Choo, choo. This Thursday, Switch heads can look forward to playing Wonder Boy Returns Remix, Star Sky, Heroin Anthem Zero Episode One, 
American Fugitive, TT Isle of Man Right on the Edge, and My Lovely Daughter. Which of course brings us to Friday! And if you Switch fans are still finding yourself craving more video games, well, on Friday, Switch owners will get Sword Art Online Hollow Realization Deluxe Edition. Man, you guys really need to trim down these games. Hungry Baby Party Treats back in 1995 and Skelly Celeste. And since American Fugitive has already launched on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 this week, screw it. Xbox fans, you can have American Fugitive as well. American Fugitive will be launching on the Xbox One this Friday, along with Super Tennis Blast, which is coming to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And wrapping up this week is Dollhouse, which, let me guess. Oh my god. That game looks fantastic. I, I, I was about to make fun of this game, but I am totally going to get this game. Uh, Dollhouse will be launching this Friday for the PlayStation 4. Well, those are the games that you can look forward to playing this week in gaming. What games are you looking forward to playing the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget, for all of your gaming news, make sure to stick right here and subscribe to the Nerf Report.